For the final teaser before Vectorworks 2019, I'd like to demonstrate ClipCube viewports. We've had a large number of requests of people, once they saw ClipCube, uh, it was immediately used. Uh, many people create sections from a face of a ClipCube now. That's a very common upgrade. But uh, we couldn't put them in a viewport. So if you had a ClipCube, no matter how you clip the model, so I could uh, touch up my model here. And just actually, just to prove you, this is a fully fleshed out model. So I've got all the notation and everything turned off, but all my geometry is on. So this is a full, fully thresh fleshed out model. Lots of furniture, lots of different interior detail, lots of meshes, imported cars. So it's not a light file by any means. I just want to give you an idea of the speed and how this works. So we'll go ahead and we'll clip this up. So if I'd already clipped up my model here, clip it here a bit, shave that down, just get the first floor here. We'll pull it in, we have the viewport. Or we have the uh, clip cube. Now, if I want to make a clip cube viewport of that, I can just go ahead, I'm gonna use a crop, you don't have to do that, I'm just doing it for the sake of the demo. View, create viewport. We'll use that as a crop, we don't need a label. This scale should fit on the page. Click OK, and then it creates our viewport, and you can see on-demand tessellation drawing that in there. If we zoom in, we can then go in here and put this, let's just do OpenGL, like when we were seeing the clip cube before. We'll update that, and of course we can't see the clip cube in wireframe in viewports, but as soon as we update this viewport, we can see that this clip cube is still present. Not only that, if I go in here, I can double click this viewport. And now to edit that clip cubed view, what you do is you choose design layer, and then you make sure that this checkbox is checked. You don't actually edit the annotations of the crop or anything like that. You do display with clip cube. If I uncheck this option, the clip cube will be removed from this viewport after this edit. So we'll leave that turned on. We'll click OK. And now we can see that same clip cube is still present. But I want to show you something. So if I go back to my save view, that's back to the model. So even though I'm, I have that clip cube saved already, this is now reverted back to my save view. And of course, save views can hold uh, clip cube settings. If we go back to the clip cube viewport, however, you can see that it's still saving that selection. It's still saving that clip cube. If I go into edit it here and display with clip cube, click OK, I can see that same clip cube. So the viewport has saved this cube. And I can, of course, go in here and edit this now, return to the viewport. It'll be dirty with the uh, out of date border. I'll update that and it'll draw to show my changes. It'll show my new clipped cube uh, in the view here as soon as the update goes. It's OpenGL, so it should just take a second. There it goes and it finishes the update. This is important because you can have separate clip cubes per viewport. So each of these viewports is the same model. I've not made different layers or sheets or anything like that, but with the clip cube has been edited per viewport. So the clip cube can be controlled per each viewport. Now, and further to that, if uh, th there's a couple things that'll that'll come up because of that. The first thing is that that means you can now use ClipCube with RenderWorks, which is excellent as far as I'm concerned. You can make some really cool looking stuff here. So this is just the example over here was just OpenGL. This is the full house with no ClipCube whatsoever. And this is with a few different clips. I can, of course, customize the color of the section. That works exactly the same way as you might think. You just scroll down here and it's in the same option, advanced properties, and that's the color. I believe that's the same for section viewports as well. This works pretty much the same way. I can change this color. And if I do, it'll update, and you can use different colors for it. You can see that here in the RenderWorks clip cube. Here I have a green instead of the blue on this side. And you can see here I have the white card rendering, which is showing textures but no color. And then here is just a regular RenderWorks viewport. Uh, the, there's an option about lighting, though. The light objects that are clipped out will still be included, because a lot of the time your heliodon will be off to the side, and we didn't want to make it such that any lights that were not involved in the scene were completely turned off. But to control that you have options for the shadows as well. So you can see, this is the geometry that was removed in this clip cube. I can now see that. So in the, you can you choose whether to see the shadows from that geometry or not. So this is what the shadows would look like in this scene if all of that geometry were still included. Uh, this is more an artistic effect than anything else, but it's just an option for you. If you scroll down here, it's again in advanced properties. And I have an option for cast shadows of removed objects. If I go over to this viewport, that option is simply turned off. That is unchecked, and you can re-render it after that. This has no clip cube shown at all. And finally, uh, this works with OpenGL and RenderWorks renders. You saw a second ago that it didn't appear in, in um, 
hidden line or uh, it didn't appear in uh, wireframe but it also does not work in hidden line since that's not a renderworks mode but what you can do is simply use the workaround trick with OpenGL, or you could even, I don't have an example of it here, but you could easily use the render works with edges as well, and you'd be able to get this effect. So you can effectively, as good as, get hidden line renders in this sort of isometric view. Hidden line's mostly better for elevations and sections anyway, we're going to have that detail, and this is sort of a, an abstract form of showing it. But this is ClipCube Viewports. Uh, it's been asked for for quite a while, and we have included it in Vectorworks 2019.